Um, there's like one after this, and then another one, and then there's like three more. Oh. Okay, which world does two Damn, M's? come, Sam. Gration, fuck you. He's, which is sharp? Uh, a kitchen knife. Wait, you have to answer the question? Yes, it's hard. Uh, which one lives underwater? Lobster. Tuna sandwich. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I like the other options. What is a good vacation spot? Uh, Bali. Okay. I mean, it depends, you know. I, I don't know what a Bali is, but you can drive here from Texas. Uh, Maine, I, I guess. You can drive to Russia if you really wanted to. I guess. Which one is a spice? Oregano. Oregano. Oh, Earwax. <laughs> God. You know, some... <laughs> Which one rolls? Marmalade. Uh, mar Bra fuck. <laughs> yeah, I need that one, too. I just Brown, so what's bigger than a bread box? Bread. California. Bitch. I'm pretty sure bread is bigger than a bread box. <laughs> How does that work? <laughs> who who even has bread boxes these days? I know that's like a it's like having a Here, man. Let me put my bread in this box. It's like having a milkman. That's such an outdated thing. I wish we had milkmen. <laughs> like why do you need them? Because just sometimes buy, you need milk delivered to you. Just buy from them from the store. It's like having a cookie man like de like that delivers cookies to that you. That is also a very good idea. <laughs> Like, why do you need it? Just go to the store. Or you could just get someone to deliver it for you. <laughs> Doesn't seem like a bad idea, but sometimes you milk. You need milk when you need it, so you're not going to wait around for some dick to deliver it. Yeah. Look at that bone. Sorry I'm late on your milk. It's so retro. There's actually an iPhone case that makes your iPhone look like it's like a 70s phone. How cool is that? I had my dad have like a Nokia from the 90s. Oh. Yeah, it, it was before the, even the flip-out phones. Did they have phones? Yeah, they had phones in the 70s. Why am I asking these questions? Yeah, they had, like, they were, like, Thanks. bigger. They're, like, a whole suitcase. All practically. we need to do is wait. All we need to do is wait, apparently. Despair. To Amy and Harry? Brad, I think you get to do this entire Let's Play because you're doing pretty good. Bow legs. Potato. Not worried. Potato. I say tomato, you say tomato. I say potato, you, you say, say potato. lemonade. Because <laughs> you're an asshole. Mr. Y, diaper. Oh, is this Wait. another one of those timed? Yeah. Far out, man. No, no, please. Liver. I hate liver. <laughs> I love duck liver. I don't know why. Except it's so bad how they how they harvest that from the... They, like, make the... They, they force the duck to, like, drink wine. No, no, no. They, um, they force feed them to death. Yeah, no, it's fucked up, man. It's, yeah, it's really terrible. You try to not eat it? Well, it's not like I get it that often. You can't even get foie gras in many places, so. Frog gras. Yeah, that's how you say it. Although, how you spell it, it's a completely different thing. They should. I think they actually have that as a word in here, foie gras. Idiot. I remember it on my one of my playthroughs. This game's a lot of fun, though. If you're... Cannibalism. If pajama you're, party. <laughs> pajama party. Let's have a That's pajama part, party. Hey. And be cannibals at the same time. Killer drink, bro. Yeah. Yeah, literally this entire Let's Play is just like one person making little puns that are really bad. <laughs> Don't panic. I'm a zombie. There's only a zombie. Ignominious. Like... Ignomi I don't even know what that means. I think that word is used a lot in the Scarlet Letter. Pigeon toes. See, this is the whole Let's Play, just saying what the words are. My god. Who would do this? Who would do such a terrible Let's Play? Uh, potholes. The nose nose. That's a good one. Who's low that? cow meal. Brad, what, we should order a should low be cow eating? meal. What are we gonna eat? Your innocence. <laughs> I eat innocent for breakfast. I eat children's brains. Dunk, dunk. Get out of there. Monk, monk, get out of my hump. Uh, you want me to sing some show tunes for you? Like what? I don't know. Do you know any show tunes? I don't know what a show tune is. I think it's like a musical, but a song. Um, What's a show tune? I'm not sure. Oh, look at that guy. He has bananas for hands. Plate. Platonic love. I don't know what platonic means either. Yeah, dude, we're Americans. We don't know anything. We, we don't know. Dictionary. The Coliseum. Boss fight. 
Hello. How did you get on the screen? We just decided to put a big monitor in the Coliseum and for some reason. I'm supposed to know what an AMS is. It's just like, we just put this here just in case anyone ever walks into this area. Because <laughs> he knows exactly where I am, right? And he's got cameras everywhere. Just imagine, he's like, he's coming to the Coliseum soon. Quick, set up the monitor. I mean, honestly, this guy has no motivation whatsoever. He's starting a zombie apocalypse for no reason. Let's do it. <laughs> It's not like he's bargaining with some other, like, other world or something. He's just making other people's lives hell. Yeah. And ah. this chainsaw guy doesn't really know what his purpose in life is. It's just like, he's just, just like get he... a chainsaw and wave it around in the sky. Did you see that other girl in the cage with him? She, he just like forgot about her. Yeah. You mailed someone a bunny rabbit. Uh, I guarantee she... you it's dead now. <laughs> He got it. I can't even. I don't even have time to read these things. I, just, I forgot to poke air holes in the. Oh shit. <laughs> Fuck. This is more bid. I'll, I'll read them to you. All right. Uh, my feet killed me when I walk a lot. Okay. Or kill me. Whatever. My eyes kill me when I play games. My head hurts when I think. This guy that sang these lines sounds really dumb. I shouldn't do anything ever. <laughs> That's some good advice. This game. is so depressing. <laughs> All right, man. Like two hits left. Just look at the way he runs. To my man. eyes, my family don't. My family don't please. Eh, damn it! I was so close. I had a last reunion at the zoo. Monkeys came down from the tree, Brad. My family. And I couldn't tell who was who. Like, like in Vietnam. You don't know, man. You weren't there. It's kind of true. The reason we, the prime reason we sort of sucked in that war is because they couldn't tell who was the enemy and who wasn't. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah, because like the like, soldiers didn't have like uniform. Or yeah. Anything. Some guys out come out with guns and start shooting the shit out of everyone. <laughs> and you're like, oh wait, did those keys just like? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they just like gravitated <laughs> towards his hand. <laughs> I don't this know. one is strong in the force. <laughs> Use the force. Use the force, you must. Yoda, I be. Typewriters. I just want to, even though it doesn't, won't kill zombies. I want to get like a contraption with a typewriter, like like that. That actually seems cool. Strap Brad, keep on playing because you know what you're doing. Strap a Dreamcast in my back. Do you have a Dreamcast? Man, I wish I did. Me and Lim, uh, we walked to this game store around where he lives, and, um... Oh, yeah, how was that? Was there cool stuff? Yeah, they had all these retro games, Did and they had a Dreamcast on sale for 30 bucks with the controller and all the hookups and everything. Yeah. And I was gonna get it, but they didn't have any good Dreamcast games, so... Yeah. I'll wait till I get, like, some good ones online and then buy it. Oh, you mean, like, download them illegally? No, <laughs> not that. I'm talking about, like physically on like Amazon or something. Oh, cause isn't Dreamcast like now you could literally just get any game you want for free? No. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Like you could just download them straight to CDs. Uh, I guess if you have a Dreamcast emulator, if that exists. Yeah, I don't know. That's what I've heard. Yeah. Who'd you hear that from? I don't know, somebody. Somebody to love. Are you a young prodigy, Austin? I'm a young... Ah, get a taste of it. Prodigy. I remember I was watching um, this, like, an interview of, like, the people at Mojang. What's that? It's the people who did Minecraft. Oh. But so, um, basically, they're like, yeah, so this is the office and all this stuff. And then uh, Notch comes in, and everyone's like, you're Notch. And he's like, yes, I am. And he's like, do you, do you understand? He's like, yes, I am God. <laughs> and he's like, did I just say I'm God on camera? And they're like, <laughs> he's like, oh. Is what's his real name? Notch. That's his real name. No, that's not his real name. I'm guessing something like maybe it's Minecraft. <laughs> Notch Minecraft. It's like it really wasn't anything. Like I just titled the game my name, except for the Notch part. <laughs> Did it all come to him in a dream? Yeah. No, like apparently, like he spent a lot of his childhood like in the woods building stuff. So he decided, like, to make a game sort of based on that. Oh, that makes sense, I guess. It's kind of cool. Hey, it's you again. 
And I was. <laughs> we meet again, headless horseman. If you caught that, I was actually still driving on the wrong side of the car. I mean, I on guess the it's the right side, depending on where you live. But in the Americas. In America, we don't. We don't drive. Hey, Rod. I think I'm a little out of focus. You. In, in terms of what? In terms of. In terms of what? Everything. Mr. Literal here. Brad, you should buy me an iPhone. That's it? Just buy you an iPhone? Or you should let me borrow your computer for a couple days. <laughs> just give it to me. Or just, like, lend you my house. Yeah, just give me your house. For the rest of my life. Brad, I need to borrow, like, $2 million. <laughs> what for, may I ask? I I'm making a feature film. I'm making a feature film. <laughs> well, it starring... looks like you're going to need a lot more than $2 million. No, see, like... I just need the two million dollars to hire Will Ferrell to you be could, in my movie. You could hire like Leonardo DiCaprio's hand for like two million dollars. How much do you think it takes to like hire like Will Ferrell to be in your movie? Because like of course he <laughs> well, wouldn't um, want to be well, in it. Besides the fact that he has to like your script, it has to be at least like a. a well, a, I mean, you could get Adam Sandler because he would literally just do anything. Adam Sandler? Sandler, Sandler. He no he I mean his late his movies lately have been kind of terrible but yeah. I don't think he'd do anything. I don't know his his new movie's pretty bad. The Andy Samberg one. I don't know like just I don't know man. Uh, you haven't it could be the best movie but I doubt it. It seems funny but just like his character does like Adam the, Sandler's character just seems annoying. The the dad. Yeah I mean like Andy he seems like he's fine. Yeah, I mean, he, he, Andy hasn't really been in anything terrible. I mean, he's on SNL. Yeah, but, but Adam Sandler, on the other it? hand, has actually been in bad movies. But he's also been in really good movies, too. Yeah. Like, Eight Crazy Nights. Eight, oh, that was the best. Yeah, probably one of his best movies. You think <laughs> so? And it's not even him, it's just like an animation, but you, it's still his voice. That could be argued, if you see his other movies. Dies the Limit. What do you think his, is, what's your favorite one? I'm trying to think. I, I watched like a lot of movies. There's this one that I saw, which was like anger management, I think. Oh yeah, that one's good. Yeah. With uh, Jack Nich Nicholson. Yeah. <laughs> Jack, the, he, he's actually a really funny <laughs> actor. Yeah, he's he's great. Like when they go to the monastery and they just start shooting up the place. Oh yeah. <laughs> or pretending to shoot it up. See the movie, guys. It's on Netflix. It's great. It's great. Hope Adam Sandler gives us a raise. And then there was like Click. Click, yeah, Click. I saw it a little bit. Click was just kind of like. It was. I mean, of I course. I saw it just for the idea because I wanted to see how they did time travel. Yeah, it. It was. Yeah. Well, they, it wasn't about time travel. It was like stopping time, right? Yeah, right. Time travel, stopping time, same shit. Yeah, but like. This guy's really good at driving. <laughs> I know. Chow Chow face. What's a Chow Chow face? Harry, what? Godmother, it makes me think of a horse's head because in The Godfather, that's how they freak some guy out. They, when he falls asleep, they put a horse head in the in his bed. I'll put a horse head in your bed. And then, uh, there you go. I need to see The Godfather. I haven't seen any of them. People refer to it as like the perfect movie or like the best movie ever. I mean, it's it's good. It's just I don't know. It doesn't live up to the legacy. What's the favorite movie you've seen uh, lately? Lately. I saw Donnie Darko. I really like that. What's that? It's you should see it. It's on I've, Netflix. I've heard of it. It's like this movie about this kid who has these problems with his mind. Like he's a really <laughs> smart kid, you know. And uh, it's kind of about. I mean, I don't really remember. What, I think it's time travel. Hmm. It's kind of like basically. Dude, I don't even fucking remember what goes on. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, wait, clearly what? your favorite movie. It's, it's about time. Just to go see it, it's really good. And yeah, yeah, it's about time travel. And he meets like this imaginary friend named Frank, who's like this really like crazy looking bunny. Mm -hmm. And then you learn it's like, it's a really, it's pretty deep. I liked it. You should see it. Have you heard about the new Seth MacFarlane's new movie? Oh yeah, Ted. The Ted, yeah. Some I think some kid was telling me today that... I remind him of Ted for some reason. I don't know why. People always say I remind them of stuff. It's a teddy bear. No, like seriously. Actually, I want to see the Seth MacFarlane one just to like see. It, it, it kind of looks terrible. You know? Do you know the premise? Yeah, it's like a teddy bear and it grows up with him. Yeah. 
Like, this guy, he gets a teddy bear for his, like, wish or something, and it talks to him. Mm -hmm. And then they both grow up together, and the teddy bear never leaves him, and I guess they're just, like, the most terrible people. And then the teddy bear, like, has a drinking problem or something. <laughs> I don't even know how that works, but yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, people say I remind them of a lot of stuff. Like, a lot of people say I remind them of Archer. Have you seen that? What is that? It's like a TV show. You know, um... Oh, it's like on Adult Swim, right? Yeah, you know the guy, uh, from, um, Family Guy, who, uh, he's, he's at the, uh, what's it called? The, the, the fat guy. The fat guy. The fat guy at the gas station who works there, who knows everything about movies. Yeah, yeah. People say I sound like him, and also he's on Bob's Burgers, too. I've never seen that. Yeah. I don't really watch TV. Well, Brad, you watch movies, like, 24-7. Yeah, I watch tons of movies. I just don't watch TV. Like, earlier today, I was watching, um, The Hills Have Eyes, and that's just... It's not scary at all. Are it's, you mainly watching scary movies? It was such a downer. Yeah, I, I wanted to catch up on all these classic scary movies. Just to... Have some experience, I guess. Yeah. And not, like, be... Just, like, be able to talk about them with people. Yeah, I like movies. Just Remember we were going to do movie reviews at one point? That was fun. Foxtrot. Or movie commentaries. Imagine commentary, like commenting on a movie for two hours. Dude, I'm seriously like always talking during movies. Not really. Like a lot of the time. Like, I mean, we, moments where like, we haven't talking. even watched a movie in a long time. Yeah, we watched uh, Kill Bill. We did? I think a little bit. 99% beef. God damn it, that's annoying. What's the other 1%? Crack. Oh, and it's gone. He'd be dead. I think we have one more level. Okay, go ahead, Brad. Let's do this. You're the best. Around. And no, no one's ever gonna bring you down. Except this except guy. This, this type of guy with his typewriter. One small step for man. One giant leap. Or for I typing erectile skills. Erectile dysfunction. No, typing skills, not something gross, whatever. So what you doing, Austin? I'm making the typing of the dead uh, title card. Have it something. Have it have something to do with stupid puns. It's weird how like this is the very beginning, or this is like the end of the let's play, probably. Yeah, this is the last level. And now I'm making the title card. <laughs> Let me find a pencil. Oh God, stairs, fucking. Oh, I love Ticonderogas. Why do you like them so much? I I seriously think that's a fetish. Probably have a fetish with everything. Do you, do you have, have a pencil sharpener, Brad? You have a foot fetish. Or do you just not believe in? Sharpening? I don't believe in sharpening anything. Use use your fingers. imagination. Use your fingers to sharpen it. Dude, I've done that before, and it's not good for my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have fingers anymore. Here we go. Now I'm missing three fingers. Wait, you seriously did that? Would you rub the pencil tip for a long time? you enjoy it so brad tell us about your movie for uh your final how did that go oh uh, for my i'm in i'm in a film class uh for my last film of the year um because we just got off school like two or three days ago yeah spring breaks yeah i mean <laughs> fucking christmas break i always say that <laughs> school is and out um for I, summer Woo! i kind of like procrastinated on my last film of the year and i just made i went to my backyard pretty far right and then uh, I shot a bunch of atmospheric. It's the farthest Brad has ever gone. Artsy shit. Yeah, I've never actually stepped outside of my house. Yeah, like why does he need to? <laughs> I know. I mean, right? yeah, he goes to school, but I mean, I, I take sometimes. my I take my double to school, and then I ask him what he learned. Like, Brad? and usually his report is pretty empty. <laughs> Not a lot. I've been doing a lot of drugs lately. <laughs> Yeah, I just stay at home, do some drugs, you know? No, I'm talking about your double, but now oh, right. that you mentioned it. <laughs> What'd you do with my double? But, uh, yeah, Brad. Um, it's Brad actually hires an actor to go in his place. Like, he's never been to school. I don't even know how I met him. I think I, <laughs> I met your double, like, in the back alley, like, selling crystal meth. <laughs> selling bubble wrap. And then I asked him if he wanted to hang out. Hey, you're ignoring me, Brad. Pay attention. <laughs>